Each semester, students abroad are starting their studies in the United States and making their immigration goals come true. Studying in the United States is a popular option for those looking for higher education, and some individuals later explore their options of receiving a permanent resident green card. From beach towns to mountains and everything in between, there is a college town for you in the States. When making the move to the U.S., international students are required to bring a number of things to ensure a smooth transition. In this video, I will be going over your international student checklist and tips for those who are making this big move. First, you'll want to plan finances. About a year before you start the student visa process in the U.S., you want to make sure that this is the right move for you. This starts by making sure you have all the needed documents and determining if you are financially ready for studying in the States. In most cases, foreign students studying abroad in the U.S. pay more tuition than U.S. citizens. This is the time to consider applying for scholarships, financial aid assistance, or working part-time while studying, which we will talk about later in this video. Next is acceptance letter, applying for your visa, and gathering documents. After applying to your school of choice and receiving an enrollment letter, ask your university about issuing your I-20 form. This document will reflect information about your enrollment and the terms of study at this U.S. university or college. Next, apply for your U.S. student visa. We encourage those students to start this process around 10 months before moving to the United States as the visa application can really take anywhere from three weeks to eight months to process as all cases are different and unique. After applying for the study visa, you will need to attend an immigration interview and there are a few documents that you should bring with you to this interview. These documents include a valid passport, your form DS-160 confirmation page, an application fee receipt, a photo of yourself, and your student visa certificate. It's a good idea to scan and save your documents, including copies of your credit cards and travel documents, but always carry the hard copies with you. Additional supporting documents may be requested from the college or university that you are attending. Now, there is no such thing as too many supporting documents. Any proof you have to support your student visa approval and your school acceptance will help you secure your travel plans. Once you've successfully completed your immigration interview, it's a great time to apply for health insurance and start planning where you will be living. If you are attending a U.S. college, you can choose between on-campus accommodation in dorms or off-campus accommodation in a private home. To study abroad, you will need to have health insurance. You can contact an insurance company directly or get help. Many colleges and universities have specific rules regarding insurance coverage, so make sure you check with the International Student Office for relevant information. Then it's time to pay tuition and set up banking. You'll probably be using a checking account to do most of your daily banking, including paying your bills. If you're receiving financial aid, it will most likely come as a check or be directly deposited into your account. It can be difficult, however, for non-U.S. residents to open a bank account, especially online. While some banks have different requirements, you'll probably be asked for proof of ID, source of income, your address, and your social security number or taxpayer identification number. There are a few tips that we like to share with those coming to the States to study that aren't familiar with the location. These tips include do your research about the neighborhoods in that area before choosing a place because you want to make sure it's safe. Find out how close grocery stores, clothing stores, and public transportation is to you. Scan all of your important documents and save them to an online storage folder. And write down any contacts or mailing addresses that you will need and keep them with you. Moving to the United States to attend college can be a huge and exciting time in your life, but don't forget there are a few things to do to ensure that your transition is as smooth as possible. I hope this quick outline on getting ready to study in the U.S. has helped you better prepare for this new adventure. If you have any questions or would like help from an immigration professional to complete your student visa application, book a consultation to get started. Visa Places help thousands of students just like you reach their immigration goals and we can help you too.